Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Indiana leaders are asking lawmakers to pass legislation addressing the state's wage gap. The bills would address wage inequity by holding employers more accountable and giving the Indiana Civil Rights Commission authority to investigate employee complaints about pay gaps. I should not have to work two or three times longer than my male counterpart in order to put food on the table for my family and provide clothing and shelter and nourishment. A report released last year says Indiana's wage gap increased to 26% in 2016. That gap is even larger for minorities. A bill to legalize Sunday alcohol sales took a step closer to passage in the House today as the committee approved the measure 12 to 1. The bill is simple. Any retailer that sells alcohol Monday through Saturday could now sell it on Sunday, but only from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. The measure now moves to the House floor. And Monroe County Commissioners voted unanimously today to approve a new zoning amendment for remote and central garbage and rubbish removal facilities. Now that means new facilities must go before the Board of Zoning for approval. Officials say that will add transparency and allow for more public input, but residents are still worried about a proposed waste transfer site. I think it will have a huge impact on property values and quality of life and businesses that have come to the area through a lot of concerted efforts by the county and the county officials. The change is interim until commissioners decide on a long-term solution later this year. And now a quick check of the forecast for tonight. 12, the low mostly clear, a bit warmer in the five-day forecast. Tomorrow, sunny, 31, 44 on Saturday, 51 by Sunday.